Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. The Death Trooper, VC-127. This is episode 127. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? You obviously get the gist. There are as many episode numbers as there are the cards I'm covering. <laughs> what? Anyway, Rogue One, Imperial Death Trooper. Do you know what I could do with not being on this chair? It's very squeaky. Maybe I should get a solid chair in here. I do like the swivel chair, though. Uh, but anyway, so we're back on the quick shots. I'm going to get through as many as I can. It's quite late on a Sunday when I'm filming this, so I might do the rest another time. But anyway, a lot of waffle. Let's get on with this. I brought in some 5P away to show you as well. Why not? I just happened to be... Well, I went to get this figure on the shelf and then the 5P away were just right there. So I thought, why not? It's the best figure there is to get for the three and three quarter in the three and three quarter inch scale for the Death Trooper. And uh, look at him, man. The one in six inch I bought that as well because you could get it for next to nothing in a bargain store. Look at the way the green. I've never noticed how good the green is on the eye until this video. In a bargain store called Home Bargain uh, in the UK, uh, there might be a little bit of dust on these figures because I recently had blinds put in the loose room. There might be, a, there was a fine, I mean, there's been a lot of building work in here anyway, but it's showing up on the black, no question. I just saw my TIE Fighters just a minute ago. But look at the detail, and the articulation is great of him. Sorry, going back to what I was saying, the six-inch figure of this is rubbish, because there's no pauldron. Look at the bombs there as well, fantastic. So let's go to these guys. I just wanted to talk to you about these, just because of the fact that there seems to be two types of 5P away you can get. There's this guy which is pretty much like the one you just saw, fully the fully articulated one that's spinning, except there's no articulation in him. So I, I've got a real, a grosser version to troopers of all figures that are not articulated, especially when you can't do their arms. All they can do with a weapon is hold it like that, and it's rubbish. And then there's this guy who looks like the six-inch one. No pauldron. A slightly different paint touch-ups. I think they came with, uh, you know, there's not, not not battle packs, but you can get two packs in the 5 PoA line. That's where these two guys came from. And there he is again. Look at the detail. These guys were pretty cool. Something sinister about the, the voice they have. And uh, they seem to be a little bit more accurate with their blasting. When I first saw the trailer for... Rogue One, I looked at them and I thought, ah, finally, this is these are Shadow Troopers. But no, it's like a new take on a Shadow Trooper, Disney's version. Ah, uh, let's have a look at the card. So as you can see, I have both variants. I wonder what the difference will be in the future of these variants you can get. That's the United States card back with the multi-language. With no... What do you call them now? Internal leaflet, whatever, the warning leaflet, the safety, whatever. And then this one is the UK card, which although it has that leaflet, you get a single name pill. Which I have no problem with either one, really. Some people don't like these leaflets. I don't really care. It depends how they've been put in. If they're, if they're tucked in at the bottom like that, I've got no problem. And as for the card back, I'm going to mount the camera so we can have a proper look at that image. One moment, please. I've kept them in the star cases just because there's two of them. And they sit on the end of the uh, ironing board. <laughs> Otherwise, I use this. It's kind of like a book stand thing for the series. So let's check this car back out. It's only one thing that works with it, the orange. It's just quite funny. Earlier today, I was filming. Speaking of orange, I was talking about the new Boba Fett that's been announced and they are intending on putting it on an orange card back. Well, the orange works on the traditional Fett because of the fact that it's quite an orangey kind of image. Orange definitely works on this guy because look at that. It's just like an inferno going on in the background. Come on, focus. God damn it. I just cut that bit because I used bad language because I've got very bad tempo when it comes to technology not working, man. There you go. Look at that. Good image, that. And I believe we're getting another Death Trooper for Mandalorian. So an all-new car back as opposed to carbonizing this one. 
So it goes to prove that they could do multiple car back images as opposed to rehashing car back images, you know? They could do new designs, is what I mean. More often. That's a nice looking card, is it not? Alrighty, that's about as much as I have to say about this. The next episode is... I don't know, I can't remember. Don't have a list in front of me, but this is the last video I'm going to do for tonight. The one and only quick shot for the night. On the same night I did my Boba Fett video, I will be doing quick shots tomorrow. And get a whole stack of them together and get daily uploads back on the go. For now, this has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.